Another 3-0 win, that means it's now Premier League history for Manchester United, the first team in Premier League history to win four games, four Premier League games by a margin of three goals or more, so that's absolutely terrific, but it's so refreshing to actually see, I was gutted that it finished 3-0 to be honest, because yeah, we dominated from about the 20th minute onwards, uh, Villa were very, very potent in the first 20th minute, but they just couldn't make the pressure tell really. Um, and yeah, from then on in, we dominated the match. And yeah, as I say, it could have been five or six. Um, that's 100 goals for the season as well, which I think is the quickest we've reached that tally since um, the 2012-13 season, which was, of course, Alex Ferguson's final season. And we might actually get more goals than that campaign in total. Uh, I think it was 114 in that year. We're currently on 100. We've got another four Premier League games, potentially another two FA Cup games and potentially another four Europa League games so we should be on course to smash that to be honest especially the way we're going um, Pogba got a goal today it was much much deserved I'm so happy that he's again I, I keep saying mature but it is it, it's a mature centre midfield role he, he's defending he's attacking he's just a box to box midfielder in this team and it suits him really really well and it allows the four ahead of him to just create havoc which is exactly what happened but as I say to give credit to Villa they were very very good in the first 20th minute uh, 20 minutes they hit the post they had a chance a uh, half chance of volley um, by Grealish Wan-Bissaka didn't have his best game today but I thought he still wasn't bad he just made some errors thankfully that didn't turn out to be goals but uh, going forward he was still quite good uh, it was nice seeing Bowman uh, down the wings overlapping with Greenwood on the right hand side and he's getting better at that crossing was pretty good he should have scored of course in the second half uh, Rashford with a lovely assist but Wan-Bissaka's header went just wide um, but yeah, and then it's nice seeing the enthusiasm um, when Martial was subbed off. He was really angry, you could tell. And that's good. Like, Oli was smiling at him as he walked past because that's exactly what Oli wants. Oli wants his striker to be gutted that he didn't score. He hit the bar and he, he played quite well. He played really well off the shoulder again. Um, you know, he made some really, really good runs. And again, you know, bar hitting the underside of the bar would have had a goal. So, yeah, it's nice that he's annoyed that he didn't score. Um, but, yeah, the, the uh, players that came on were uh, Fred McTominay, uh, James, Williams and Igalo. And, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's nice playing these sort of players for the last half hour uh, just to get the fitness up because it's a squad game, of course. Like, we've named an unnamed, um, unchanged lineup for five games in a row now in the Premier League. Sorry, four games in a row now in the Premier League. And, yeah, it, it's nice to have quality backup instead of Andres Pereira or Juan Mata, who I like. He's a decent player, but he just doesn't have a lot of pace now. He's not an impact sub. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to have these players coming on on the bench full of enthusiasm and wanting to do well. Like, Fred was on the bench, um, and when he got subbed on for Fernandez, he was just beaming. Like, he was happy to be part of the squad, uh, part of the team. But anyhow, the goals, um, of course, the first one's very debatable. Is it a penalty? Is it not? We had one against us last week where Eric Bailly, I don't care what anyone says, it's not a penalty, it wasn't a handball, it didn't even look as though it was in the box, but regardless, that was given, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's probably not a penalty. Um, it's clever play by Fernandez. it's not a dive either, it's just letting the defender clatter into him, really. Uh, so you can see where the ref and VAR gave it, and it, it's harsh on Villa, of course it is, because they were very, very good up until that point, and that changed the game pretty much. I still feel we would have won regardless because uh, Villa, although they were quite potent, they didn't have that killer edge really. Like I know they hit the post, but you never really felt overly threatened, or I didn't anyway. Like It always felt as though it would just be lacking that final touch, which is kind of what has them in the relegation zone this season, to be honest. Um, they're, they're just lacking goals. Anyhow, we scored that. Bruno um, obviously put it away. And then we got a second goal not too long before uh, the end of the first half. Brilliant from Mason Greenwood. Just just brilliant. You knew as soon as he got in that position, he was going to find the net. Like Again, left, right, doesn't really matter. I think he took it with his right foot this time. Uh, but wonderful play from the, from the team, a counter-attack. Uh, and yeah, just lethal again. Like th This kid is just a wonder wonder kid he really really is the term generational is thrown around a lot and it's still too early to say but he's certainly got 
the ability to be a generational player. Like, you know, if he keeps going the way he is, then there's no reason why he can't be a legend of a game, to be honest. Um, and then in the in the second half, shortly after uh, kickoff, we get our third goal. It's just a clever corner from Bruno Fernandes, plays it to the edge, Pogba gets his goal. Um, and I, I just like the way Pogba's playing because he's playing for the team. He's, he's not doing too much of his show uh, boating, which you know is fine, especially when we're a couple of goals up. Like you don't mind seeing it. You love seeing your players do that. But he's he's lessening that and he's passing. Like there was an instance in the second half where he tried to dink it, and I felt like you know maybe he should have shot, but it, it just goes to show his his work ethic for the team. So yeah, it was nice for him to get a goal, um, and it's really nice that we don't have to rely on him. And same with Fernandez in this game, like he didn't have a great game, but he still had a goal and an assist. He was still influential, but it's nice that despite Fernandez not having a 10 out of 10, he probably had a five or a six out of 10 this game, which is still good. Don't get me wrong, it's still decent, but it's nice that we didn't require Fernandez to have a 10 out of 10 to demolish Villa. And yeah, people will say, oh, it's only Villa. Only Villa are the type of teams that we struggled against in the last few years. We couldn't beat the bottom feeder teams or the teams that sat back and absorbed the pressure. We just didn't have an answer for it. Now we do. We, we could beat the top six teams. We've beat all of them like numerous times over the last few years in our banter era. That wasn't the issue. We were tailor-made to play against those. It's these teams that we drop points against. So that's why I'm absolutely ecstatic. We're now, I think it's one point off Leicester and two points off Chelsea. We're right behind them in fifth. Uh, we're clawing back the goal difference as well on Leicester, which is nice to see. Got a much bigger goal difference than Chelsea as well. So we just need to do what we're doing. Uh, continue, win the last four games, and we're guaranteed Champions League because it's in our hands now. Because if we win all four of our fixtures, because we play Leicester, we get Champions League. So it is in our hands, even though Leicester are ahead of us. It's in their hands too. It's in both our hands, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, I, I'm fully confident. I genuinely do think we'll finish third. And then, yeah, hopefully we can beat Chelsea in the FA Cup, get to the final. And yeah, the Europa League draws tomorrow at 11am. We're 5-0 up against last, so we're obviously into the quarter final. Um, so yeah, it'll just be nice. I, I'm I'm so happy we've got Manchester United back. Yay!